Just checking, you knew that there was a security camera there. I did. A South Bay pet sitter caught on camera getting romantic in a customer's home after being hired through a popular dog walking app. Yeah, the story provides some tips in this gig economy. If you use phone apps for food delivery, personal shopping, massage, or dog walking. Yeah, amazing. IT reporter Dan Noyes is here with uh, one customer's nightmare. So strange. What a it story. Is. Well, Dan and Ama, the company in question tells me they do thorough background checks on their dog walkers and pet sitters who are independent contractors, but that the reported conduct in this case is unacceptable. Rosie Brown has two rambunctious little dogs, Penny and Daisy. When she headed out of town for a wedding three weeks ago, she turned to a popular app to find a pet sitter. Get a WAG certified walker to walk your dog at a moment's notice. Rosie met 26-year-old WAG dog walker and sitter Casey Brengel. She had 210 five-star reviews. And I'm thinking, okay, this is great. They agreed on four and a half days of house sitting with long walks for $315 and discussed the doggy cam on the kitchen counter. It also shoots out treats. Rosie headed to Louisiana and on the day of her cousin's wedding received an alert from the camera. On the preview of the alert, it showed a man in our house, someone that I wasn't expecting. So I opened it up and that's when I saw that she was there with a man in our house and they were going straight for our bedroom. The video shows Casey's boyfriend at the apartment on several occasions, at one point locking the dogs outside the master bedroom, on another going from the master to the guest bedroom. After several days of texting, Casey Brengel finally agreed to speak with me on camera. She believes that you were having sex in both of the bedrooms. I, oh, it's okay that she believes that that's not what was going on. Casey's father and mother also visited, even though the WAG guidelines say it's walkers and sitters should not allow any third parties into the home of the pet parent. And several times, the camera caught Casey naked on the couch that Rosie Brown had saved for six months to buy. It got hot, and uh, as I said, I don't like wearing clothes. <laughs> to see that video where she's just butt naked, you know, sitting on it and laying on it, that was really hard because... You know, we just spot it. I don't lay down right there, you know. I oh, just, really? Yeah. It's actually affected the way that you use yeah. your own couch. Yeah, that's actually, that used to be my favorite spot. <laughs> right in the middle, but I don't really touch it. She can't sit on her favorite spot any longer because she has the image of you being naked on that same spot. Do you understand that? I do. Yeah. I do, and I feel terrible about it. And it's not, it was not something I did with intent or ma with malice. She tells me Rosie allowed her boyfriend to come over for dinner on a previous job, but that she did not clear any visitors for this session. The camera also documented Casey taking the dogs out for just one to five minute potty breaks, not the 30 or 60 minute walks usually ordered through the WAG app. And it caught her cursing at Daisy after the dog had been playing rough with Penny. Is that really appropriate? No, it's not. She, but she had been acting like a jerk, and I agree that's not appropriate. I was frustrated not at her, at myself, at other things. I had gotten in a fight with my mom, and I agree it was not appropriate. After Rosie Brown complained to WAG and I contacted the company, they suspended Casey Brangle and sent the IT team a statement that reads in part, the report of behavior in the situation is unacceptable and contrary to our community guidelines. We expect everyone on the WAG platform to conduct themselves professionally. These are my dogs, so I know how difficult it can be to find a good walker or pet sitter. As for WAG, I contacted the Better Business Bureau, and they tell me the company has had a rocky few months dealing with consumer complaints. The BBB has received 47 complaints about WAG since September 2017 for things like not applying credits properly, walkers not showing up, keys, money, or other items stolen, and dogs getting loose on the walker's time. Last month, the Bureau gave WAG an F for the way it addressed complaints, changed it to NR or not rated while they worked with the company to help them improve their process for responding to and resolving consumer complaints, and this week awarded WAG an A-plus for the progress they made. Rosie Brown still has questions about how WAG supervises walkers once they pass the company's background check. How do you know that a WAG walker or sitter who's done a thousand walks or 500 sitting sessions, how they're doing on the 500 first session? They could be a completely different person from when you last checked in with them for the background check. The company responds, pet parents' ratings and feedback provide WAG an ongoing assessment of the pet care provider's services. It also helps us to determine whether providers should be allowed to remain on the platform.
WAG IS OFFERING TO PAY FOR CLEANING SERVICES AND A LOCKSMITH. NOW HERE ARE SOME TIPS. BE HONEST ON YOUR APPLICATION ABOUT YOUR EXPECTATIONS AND ABOUT YOUR DOGS. REVEAL ANY PROBLEMS YOUR DOGS MAY HAVE, SAY WITH AGGRESSION. MEET THE WORKER BEFORE YOU HIRE THEM AND BUY ONE OF THOSE DOGGY CAMERAS. YOU KNOW, AND NOT NECESSARILY TO CATCH SOMEONE, oh. BUT TO PREVENT THINGS FROM... Sure. JUST GO IN AND TELL THEM THE CAMERA'S THERE, yeah, right? Right, RIGHT? AND HOPEFULLY IT'LL STOP ANYTHING BAD FROM this HAPPENING. Makes EVERYBODY BEHAVE RIGHT. EXACTLY. Yeah. THAT'S RIGHT. THANKS, DAN